Herzlich willkommen. It's a noise quarter. And this quarter we're going to have some serious movements. And we're starting off with a very bullish candle already. September has closed above 43k. Stock to flow model is still intact. And we are seeing further green candles across markets and also altcoins breaking out through the Bitcoin pair through which not only Bitcoin is doing great, but also altcoins. We're going to discuss that in this update. We're going to discuss Bitcoin and ETH, of course. But first, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like the YouTube update if you enjoy the content. And don't forget to check out my Twitter and Instagram. I'll be doing a giveaway when I reach 50k followers on Instagram. We're getting close. Do not forget to follow me there. Looking at the markets right now, we can see that we've got those monthly returns and I've shared this earlier. September is usually a bad month and also in this case we've had a slight loss during September. Also the equity markets have been seeing some bad momentum through which it, it's nicely in line with what history has been telling about us in which the prices have been dropping down a little bit. Through that many red candles or red numbers in uh, September and what is coming after well we can see it here already we can see that in uh, the pictures or in the movements after that we have a very great or good uh, October November and December and that is most likely what's going to happen again history repeating the momentum very likely going to happen through which Q4 is usually a very bullish uh, period for crypto but for the markets in itself so I think, especially in the recent run-up for a Bitcoin, we are done with the entire correction, especially since we are breaking back above a recent lower high, assuming that we can get continuation happening there. Looking at our website, 8global.com, it's in the description beneath. To start off the actual uh, momentum with this quarter, we are doing a 25% discount, which is... Um, uh, apply, uh, you can apply that on every order that you do 8 to moon that is the actual coupon code if you do that it's 25% discount recurring on your membership if you have silver or gold you can get 25% discount on your membership recurring so every month you will be paying this price for silver rather than this price um, so that's recurring um, it will only be available during this weekend until Monday, 23.59 p.m. Central European time. So if you want to join us during this bullish quarter, do not forget to subscribe or to join our website or our group through the description in, um, in the YouTube description or the link in the YouTube description. There we go. So looking at the price movements, we see that we are breaking up. And we did not really get a 42k retest here, but we are looking for a new higher highs at this stage. And I stated yesterday that I don't really necessarily want to see any um, heavy corrective move once again. So 42k was the bottom line for me. If 42k was lost, I think we would have been going for new lows. However, testing support six times made a slight higher low broke to the upside slight consolidation and since that consolidation we attacked this recent lower high and we are breaking through it so what we can assume right now is that we are going to have some slight drop downs and then we continue the momentum towards 47k through which we can have bullish continuation happening on the markets again and that is assuming us that we are done with the corrective move and i think that if we would have gone down even further, we would have taken a low at this point. As we were making another lower high. And if we wanted to continue moving south, we should be falling down there in that perspective here. But instead, we've actually moved upwards based also due to the news of Gary Gensler from the SEC saying that he's positive of um, an ETF. And also the ETF might be coming this month or next month or at least an approval through which the markets are even going further in the bullish momentum. And also the stock to flow model saying 43k, that's the level that I want to see it close. We did it. And now we are looking for continuation on the markets and um, his target for October is 61k. I'm not sure what are we going to reach that, but especially if we are continuing with this uptrend as we just created a higher high, I think this flip 
would be granting us continuation towards 47k as we just broke out of this entire downwards construction <coughs> and we are looking for bullish continuation to be happening also ethereum at this stage um, slightly different view as bitcoin is already making a new higher high ethereum is still facing resistance at this point so we don't really see a breakout there yet but it's assuming that we're going to get one quite soon through which we are most likely going to break this resistance here and breaking that resistance will result in a target of 36 once again what we see same picture on ethereum which shows a retest of support bounce back up consolidation and retest of resistance preferably you don't want to see price moving down too much towards 3k here or below 3k so you want to see some consolidation and then a breakout upwards basically what we see all around across uh, the markets right now with all those movements but right now i think you want to see with ethereum a slightly consolidated period before we start breaking out heavily that is actually the pic picture that i'm looking at if we lose 3k we might be retesting around 28 again but that's not recommended if we are stuck inside this range you want to have that pressure to the upside which breaks to the upside too and then we can have acceleration looking at ethereum against bitcoin i think that's the best picture that i'm seeing right now is that we bounce from support and usually when you see such a volatility on bitcoin you will see some pain on ethereum as well but instead in the past 12 hours we've seen bitcoin crawling back up and what do we see we see ethereum crawling back up in the bitcoin pair too so money is not only going towards bitcoin money is also going towards altcoins and when bitcoin is going to consolidate or at least have some slight consolidation and not a vertical move to the upside this one is going to run even further and altcoins will just follow suit of bitcoin so i think we are in for a very bullish quarter we are ready for the next bull cycle and if you are ready for that as well do not forget to buy the opportunities and subscribe beneath as we are providing daily market updates have a wonderful day i'll be back later today don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you again soon